Hey everyone, this is Ross, and today I just want to talk a bit about the importance of having a cleanup crew in your aquarium. Uh, what I mean by cleanup crew is things like cory catfish, shrimp, and Um Although they're not necessary, it is quite important to have a cleanup crew in your aquarium because um, you can basically leave your tank for longer and not touch it. Because uh, if you've got like 10 goldfish in here, with no cleanup crew, um, then it's going to get messy really quick and algae is going to grow everywhere because of all the excess nutrients of the fish waste. So, if you have small, showy fish with a lot of cleanup crew, then you're going to minimize the amount of maintenance that you need to do on the tank. I clean this tank once a week and um, I clean the glass every two weeks because the glass hardly ever gets algae on it. That's because I don't put much light in this tank, and uh, the main reason is the shrimp. Um, these are Amano shrimp. Amano shrimp are apparently one of the best shrimp for eating algae in the aquarium. Um, red cherry shrimp are good, but they're not as good as Amano's. Um, one benefit of a cherry shrimp to Amano's is that they're colourful and they can breed in fresh water. Amano shrimp can only breed in uh, brackish water. And yeah, they're kind of a brown colour, so they're not too attractive, but I like them. And uh, they do a great job with eating the algae off the plants. So as you can see, the Ludwigia is just spotless. They've cleaned all the algae off that. You can see there's one on it there now. Right there. And um, they clean the Java fern, they clean the Anubias. They clean every plant in here. Um, constantly they're always going away eating algae they just use the little pincers to pince off little tiny bits of algae and eat it um, the diet almost exclusively on uh, algae um, they will have the odd uh, flake food but yeah they mainly eat algae and they're actually quite cool to watch so I'd uh, definitely recommend getting some shrimp to clean your plants because uh, especially with slow growing plants like Anubias uh, it's just an easy target for algae to grow on. So um, if you didn't have shrimp in your tank, like in three weeks, your Anubias would be completely covered in algae and it'd just be a nightmare to wash off. So yeah, it's good to have a few shrimp in there. And as I mentioned, they're quite entertaining to watch because they're always on the go. As you can see, it's actually on the glass there, clean algae. So they are great algae eaters. Um, they'll also eat the algae off your gravel. Because um, in my previous tent, I had a problem with uh, algae growing on the gravel, and um, it was everywhere. I, I turned the gravel over, and it was still there. It just grew back, so I'd recommend getting some shrimp to clean your plants and your gravel. Uh, another thing that'll clean your gravel is cory catfish. Uh, these are bronze corydoras. Beautiful fish. They've got great personalities. Every now and again, they'll dart up to the surface. They're one of my favourite fish, beautiful. They're a schooling fish, they come from the Amazon. I've done a video on them, I think. And as you can see, they're constantly just scratching through the gravel, eating uh, bits of uh, leftover food that falls to the gravel. Uh, before I had these cory catfish, I had an outbreak of planaria. It wasn't too bad, but it, it was, there was a few. Uh, planaria are small worms. Um, they come out when there's a food source because they actually live in soil uh, when you buy it and uh, they're in eggs in egg form and they hatch from the eggs when there's a, a food source available so if too much uneaten food sinks to the bottom then the planaria will hatch out their eggs and they'll, they'll go about the business squirming through all the dirt and they won't be very attractive they come right up to the glass and it's horrible to see them kind of moving around so um, yeah planaria aren't too good some of them are actually parasitic and the worst thing about them is um, whoa the cory cats I think might be close to breeding and um, the worst thing about planaria is uh, if you actually took one out cut it in half it would grow into two worms so yeah you can't really kill them too easily uh, the only two ways to kill them is to burn them, and uh, one way which is a bit more realistic is to starve them. So, 
you can stall them by preventing food from landing on the gravel and the only way to do that is by netting the food off the gravel or getting something like a scavenger fish like the cory catfish and corys are great they just uh, eat all the uneaten food from the gravel so if you want something to take away all, all the food from the gravel get cory catfish they've just got great personalities and they're very efficient so uh, a mano shrimp for the plants is a good idea and cory catfish for the gravel is also a good idea um, so yeah I love those two species of uh, aquatic animal uh, cory catfish in particular um, another kind of clean up animal is uh, the placostomus I've never actually had a placostomus so I can't really say if they're good, good or bad but I wouldn't really like one because they grow very big um, some grow up to a foot, even bigger, and there is one small plec plecosmus, and that's a bristle nose plec. It uh, only grows a few inches, five, six inches, but it's still uh, relatively big compared to a, a cory catfish. So, um, yeah, they kind of eat algae. Uh, they're quite efficient. It's quite funny to see the little mouth. They'll go on the glass, and you'll see the mouth kind of squirming away, cleaning up all the algae. But the problem with those is um, they might not eat all the algae on the glass. So if you wanted to clean off a patch with your little algae scraper, then that's not leaving them much food. So you might have to put with patches of algae everywhere. If you did clean off that, I think they might eat flakes. They probably do eat flake food, but it's best to leave it on there as food for them. So I wouldn't really get plecos. People have different opinions on it, but uh, yeah, I don't really like plecos. Um, another thing is the Borneo sugar. I think that might be a type of pleco. I'm not too sure on that, but that's that stays relatively small, about a bit bigger than Cory Cat size, and they kind of suck algae off rocks and the glass and stuff. They seem alright, they stay small, but uh, yeah, they might leave patches on the glass. Um, another option is snails. You can get ramshorn snails, common pond snails, mystery snails, apple snails. They're great algae cleaners. They generally leave plants alone, but they poo a lot. And they'll just leave your tank horrible. There'll be snail poo everywhere, so I wouldn't really get the uh, snails. So, in general, if I was you, I'd get some species of shrimp. Shrimp are generally clean, so any species of shrimp should be fine. Um, Cory catfish, great little little fish with uh, lots of personality and um, possibly a Borneo sucker if you really wanted. Um, so yeah, it's important to have a clean up crew in your aquarium just to keep everything nice because if you were going on a holiday for a few weeks and you could leave your tank and when you got back it wouldn't be too bad, there wouldn't be too much algae there. Um, so yeah. I think I'm the cleaner crew in your aquarium is quite important. Uh, so if you like this vid, then please comment, rate and subscribe. Bye.